I like to tell people, follow Mother Nature's lead. Don't try and fool her. Corn and soybeans came into this area in the mid-1980s, so selecting hybrids is kind of a work in progress for us. The hybrids and varieties have to be able to adjust to our kind of environment, very dry, uh, very hot, sometimes very cold, so they have to be very flexible. When I look at yield trial data, other than our own, I have to be a little bit skeptical. We don't know the environment that that hybrid or those varieties came up in. We don't know the fertility practices. We don't know the soil types. Usually I'll, I'll weigh uh, one hybrid against another and kind of use that as a starter, but that particular hybrid has to perform in my environment under my management practices. We have to look at hybrids and varieties that are very tolerant of stress. Our management practices are a little bit unique in that we focus uh, a lot on soil health. And so with that, we focus on reducing applied nutrients. To give you an example, we are less than half and sometimes about a third of what universities would recommend in terms of uh, NPK applications. We also incorporate a lot of cover crops. We have a very diverse rotation. There might be, uh, corn might be planted behind wheat stubble, it might be planted behind soybeans, or it's going to be in a cover crop scenario. We look at production cost. We want to have return on our investment. And so yield is secondary in my opinion. We're not driven by maximum yield. We're not driven by the coffee shop talk of, uh, you know, Joe Brown has the highest corn yield. That's not what drives us. First, I'll look at the data that the dealers may have, but I think the most realistic is what we do on our own farm. When we plant corn, we always have one half the planter of hybrid X and the other half the planter hybrid Y. And so if we have a couple thousand acres uh, planted like that and we might have 10 different hybrids throughout all those acres, we're able to see how one hybrid performs with the other in every field, which really gives us a, a good feel of how those hybrids perform against each other. Typically, uh, when we see the side-by-side -side in that planter scenario, we usually see uh, anywhere between two and 10 bushel difference, and sometimes even more drastic than that. Don't be reluctant to accept and adapt change. Definitely rely upon the information from your seed dealer, uh, but I think more importantly, you need to see how that hybrid and variety will perform in your fields under your management practices. I would always keep an open mind to new technologies and new varieties and new hybrids, but try them on a small scale first. 